don't know if that'll help at all. What is it? You're a... Uh... He's the colonel. He runs the Oh. But first, Arizona's top cop responsible for highway safety pulled over, going more than 90 miles an hour, 15 over the speed limit. It happened back in October on I-17 North near Camp Verde. Arizona Department of Public Safety Director Frank Milstead got off with a warning after he informed the deputy who he is. Milstead now says he is deeply regretful about speeding. ABC 15 investigator Melissa Blasius tells us Milstead has a history of questionable choices, and Melissa, could his lead foot cost him his job? My sources in law enforcement and state government say that Colonel Frank Milstead is very well liked by his boss, the governor, and that he will definitely keep his job as DPS director despite this controversy and prior ones. Even, even good guys make mistakes. Uh, he was speeding. Governor Doug Ducey backing Colonel Frank Milstead one day after video surfaced of his traffic stop. But this is not the first time Milstead's decisions have come into question. In 2015, after the arrest of Leslie Merritt Jr. in a freeway shooting, Milstead continued to publicly state his investigators had a good case even after Merritt was released from jail. I believe that we have uh, enough evidence uh, to develop probable cause uh, to believe that he is the correct suspect. Last year, Milstead endured the wrath of Twitter after Nike ads recognized Colin Kaepernick's sacrifice for risking his NFL paycheck while protesting police brutality. Milstead made his own version to instead show Trooper Tyler Edenhofer killed in the line of duty. It was to support the men and women that I represent that truly do make the ultimate sacrifice. Just months later, a car chase turned into a gunfight on I-17 near downtown Phoenix at rush hour. After commuters ended up in the middle of the danger, Milstead said, People should have stood up and applauded and said thank you for getting this madman off the road before he killed my son. No applause for Milstead's number two, Lieutenant Colonel Heston Silbert, who started a highway chase in his personal car while off duty. It ended in a death. Silbert was not disciplined. Milstead avoided discipline or even a ticket when he slammed into a tree on a rain-soaked road in 2011. Critics questioned why he wasn't screened for intoxication. Ducey countering that story today. No, no, away. no. What, uh, what my understanding was uh, is that he, he made a maneuver to, to save his life. Milstead, who was Mesa's police chief back then, encouraged his officers to purge old disciplinary cases from their personnel files. He still thinks that's a good idea. Look, if you have things that you've paid the price for, that you've been disciplined for, that are eligible to be purged by Mesa policy, you should do that. But Colonel Milstead can't purge this video and Arizona residents can only hope. I'm just educating, you know, just kind of, you know, it's the purpose of the stop, you know, just educate people, you know. He heeds the deputy's warning. I'm investigator Melissa Blasius, ABC 15 Arizona.